Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss how to write a Python program to verify given number is magic number. First, let me define what is a magic number. A magic number is that number whose repeated sum of all its individual digits till we get a single digit and the single digit is equal to 1, then I can say that given number is magic number. What is the explanation behind this definition is suppose let's take that I have taken a number 1 2 3 4 what are the individual digits of 1 2 3 4 you have 1 2 3 4 now compute the sum of this individual digits okay what is the sum 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is equal to 10 is it a single digit no if it is not a single digit again you apply the same process now take the 10 and find the individual digits which are 1 and 0. Compute the sum of the individual digits. 1 plus 0 you will be getting 1. Do you got the single digit? Yes. In Is the single digit is equal to 1? Yes. Then I can say 1, 2, 3, 4 is magic number. Okay. Similarly, let me take one more example. 55. Okay, now what are the individual digits of 55, 5 and 5? Compute the sum of 5 and 5. You are getting the 10. Now, 10 is a single digit? No. If 10 is not a single digit, again apply this process. Find the individual digits which are 1 and 0. Compute the sum of this individual digits. You will be getting 1. Now, is this 1 is a single digit? Yes. If this it is a single digit, and it is equal to 1, then I can say it is a magic number. Now let me take 43. What are the individual digits 4 and 3? Compute the sum 4 plus 3, you are getting 7. Is it a single digit? Yes. If it is a single digit, is it equal to 1? No. Then what I can say 43 is not a magic number. I hope you are able to understand what is the logic behind magic number. Now we will write the program. Then I will explain with one example. Look at here. Let me take the n value from the user. Okay. So to do that one we will use the input function and we will ask the user to enter the number. And you know that input function will return everything in the form of a string. But you want, need to convert into an integer. So that's why you will do the type casting. Okay. Now once you got the n value store it in some other variable. So I am writing x is equal to n. And then I will write while x greater than or equal to 10, I will take sum is equal to 0, then while x greater than 0, now I will compute the sum of the individual digits. So what I will write rem is equal to x modulus 10, then I will write sum is equal to sum plus rem and then x is equal to x floor division 10, then x is equal to sum, then I will write an if condition. If x is equal to is equal to 1, then I will write print n is magic number else else I can say n is not a magic number ok now let me run the program let me take 1 2 3 4 5 is 1 2 3 4 5 is a magic number or not we will verify look at here 1 2 3 4 5 is not a magic number why see 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 you will be getting 15 now which is not a single digit then again 1 plus 5 6 now it is a single digit and the single digit is not equal to 1 so I can say it is not a magic number now let me run the program and take the input 55 55 is a magic number see we got the output as 55 is a magic number let me run the program again and this time let me give 1 2 3 4 now 1 2 3 4 is a magic number okay now what we will do is that we will explain this program by taking 
taking the input as 1, 2, 3, 4. If we user has entered 1, 2, 3, 4 and that value will be stored in the variable called n. Then what is the next step I have written? x is equal to n. So, x will get the value as 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, you are using the nested loops concept means inside a loop you have another loop. Okay? So, this loop we will call it as outer while loop and this loop we will call it as inner while loop. Okay? Inner while loop and why this loop is required is that if after computing the sum is it still a double digit or not you are verifying or it is greater than a 10 or not you are verifying and this inner loop is useful for you to compute the sum of the individual digits. Now look at the condition x should be greater than or equal to 10. What is the x value 1, 2, 3, 4? 1, 2, 3, 4 is greater than or equal to 10? Yes, the condition is true. If the outer while loop condition is true, the statements which are there in the outer while loop will be executed. There is a first statement sum is equal to 0. So, sum will get the value 0. Then you have a while condition. What is the condition? x should be greater than or 0. X should be greater than 0 not or equal to 0 x is greater than 0 what is the x value 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 is greater than 0 yes the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which are there in the inner while loop will be executed what is that one rem is equal to x modulus 10 that is the x value 1 2 3 4 modulus operator will give you the reminder which is equal to 4 so rem will have the value 4 then sum is equal equal to sum plus what is the sum initial value 0 plus rem which is equal to 4 ok then x is equal to x floor division 10 what is the x value 1 2 3 4 floor division 10 will give you the quotient as 1 2 3 so x is now becoming 1 2 3 ok and look at here then again you are verifying the inner while loop condition because you have executed all the statements which are there in the inner while loop again you will verify the condition what is the condition x should be greater than 0 what is the x value 1 2 3 1 2 3 is greater than 0 yes the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which are there in the inner while loop will be executed what is the first statement rem is equal to x modulus 10 123 modulus 10 will give you the reminder as 3 so rem will have the value 3 then sum is equal to sum plus rem what is the sum value 4 4 plus 3 which is equal to 7 so sum is having the value 7 and x is equal to x floor division 10 123 floor division 10 will give you the quotient as 12 so x will have the value 12 again you will verify the condition what is the condition x should be greater than 0 now what is the x value 12 12 is greater than 0. Yes, the condition is true. If the condition is true, the statements which are there in the inner while loop will be executed. What is the first statement? REM is equal to x modulus 10. What is the x value? 12. 12 modulus 10 will give you the reminder as 2. So, REM will have the value 2. Then sum is equal to sum plus REM. What is the sum value? 7 and REM value 2. So, sum will get the value as 9. Okay, then x is equal to x floor division 10, x value is 12, 12 floor division 10 will give you the quotient as 1, so that will be stored in the variable called x. So, x is now 1, as the statements which are there in the inner while loop has been executed, again you will verify the condition. What is the condition? x should be greater than 0. What is the x value? 1. 1 is greater than 0? Yes, the condition is true. If the condition is true, again the statements which are there in the inner while loop will be executed. REM is equal to x modulus 10. What is the x value 1? 1 modulus 10 will give you the remainder as 1. So, REM will have the value 1. Sum is equal to sum plus REM. What is the sum value? 9. 9 plus 1 is how much? 
10. So sum will have the value 10. Then x is equal to x floor division 10. x value how much? 1. 1 floor division 10 will give you the quotient as 0. Now the x value is 0. As the statements which are there in the inner while loop has been executed, again you will verify the condition of the inner while loop. What is the condition? x greater than 0. What is the x value 0? Is 0 is greater than 0? No, the condition is false. If the condition is false, the statements which are there in the inner while loop will not be executed. The next statement after the inner while loop which is a statement of outer while loop will be executed which is x is equal to sum. What is the sum value 10? So, x will get the value 10. Okay. Then all the statements of the outer while loop has been executed. Then again the condition of the outer while loop will be verified. What is the condition? X should be greater than or equal to 10. What is the X value? 10. Is 10 is greater than 10? No. Is 10 is equal to 10? Yes. So the condition is true. If the condition is true, again the statements of the outer while loop will be executed. What is the first statement? Sum is equal to 0. Now sum again back to the 0 and again you have a while condition. So, it is an inner while loop. So, you are verifying the condition. X is should be greater than 0. What is the X value 10? So, 10 is greater than 0. Yes, the condition is true. If the condition is true, the statements which are there in the inner while loop will be executed. What is that? REM is equal to X modulus 10. What is the X value 10? 10 modulus 10 will give you the reminder as 0. So, REM will have the value 0. Then sum is equal to sum plus REM. What is the sum initial value? 0. REM value 0. So, 0 plus 0 will give you 0. Then x is equal to x floor division 10. x value how much? 10. 10 floor division 10. Okay, sorry, let me write here x. x value is 10. 10 floor division 10 will give you the quotient as 1. Okay. So, now x value became 1. As the statements in the inner while loop have been executed, again you will verify the condition of the inner while loop. What is the condition? x should be greater than 0. What is the x value 1? Is 1 is greater than 0? Yes, the condition is true. If the condition is true, the statements which are there in the inner while loop will be executed. What is the first statement? REM is equal to x modulus 10. 1 modulus 10 will give you the reminder as 1. So, REM will have the value 1. Then sum is equal to sum plus REM. Sum value how much? 0 and REM value 1. So, sum will get the value 1. Then x is equal to x floor division 10. 1 floor division 10 will give you the quotient as 0. So, x value becomes 0. Now, as the statements of the inner while loop have been executed, then you will verify the condition. What is the condition? x should be greater than 0. What is the x value 0? Is 0 is greater than 0? No, the condition is false. If the condition is false, the statements which are there in the inner while loop will not be executed. The next statement after the inner while loop, which is x is equal to sum will be executed. Sum value is how much? 1. So, x will get the value 1. As the statements of the outer while loop have been executed, you will verify the condition of the outer while loop. What is the condition? x should be greater than or equal to 10. What is the x value? 1. Is 1 is greater than 10? No. Is 1 is equal to 10? No. So, the condition of the outer while loop is also false. If the outer while loop condition is also false, the statements of the outer while loop will not be executed. The next statement after the outer while loop will be executed. The next statement is if condition. What is the if condition? x is equal to is equal to 1. What is the x value? 1. 1 is equal to 1. Yes, the condition is true. If the if condition is true, the statements which are there in the if block will be executed. What is that? Print n. n value is how much? 1, 2, 3, 4 is a magic number. So, this is the output we got. I hope you have understood what is a magic number and what is the logic behind the magic number and how to write the Python program. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.